Hi, it's Nikki. Welcome to this face yoga fascia releasing routine that focuses on the area around the eyes. Remember to check with your healthcare practitioner before starting a face yoga routine to make sure it's right for you and your medical condition. We're going to start first with some manual lymphatic drainage. We're going to use the pads of our hands and do five pumps in this area, very light. Then we're going to go down the neck, same thing with the pads of the hands. We're letting the fingers attach or melt into the skin and then lightly move down. Then we're gonna use V fingers in front of and behind the ears five times. Now you can increase this up to 30 times if you have the time. Then we're going to use L fingers. The thumbs are gonna go under the jawline the index finger is going to windshield wipe across the face. Very light touch, as if you were pushing a quarter across the skin. Then pads of hands down the back of the neck. Now we're going to work the back of the neck. Take your hand, place it just above your pant line and then bring your shoulder up, elbow back. Turn your head 45 degrees and bring it up so that the back of the head hits the shoulder. We're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. So the reason why we're working the back of the neck is because the trapezius muscle can get really tight from forward head posture. And so this helps to relieve tension there so that we don't have tension going through the frontalis muscle, which can impact the eyes. All right. Then we're going to come out of that and we're going to bring our hands just next to, but not on the spine and stretch out this trapezius muscle. If you find an area that's tight, just sit on it, let it melt and then bring it apart. You can use your hands to create a pinching effect to also help relieve tension here. Then, We'll do the other side. Bring the hand above the pant line, shoulder up, elbow back, turn the head 45 degrees, and bring the head back, hold for 20 seconds. This is something that can be done every day. It can be done several times a day. And the reason why we're doing this is to compress this tissue so that when we release it and blood flows through it, we can get a better stretch because the tissue will be warmer. All right, we'll come out of that. And then we're going to use our hands again. And as you do this more, you'll find your hands will strengthen and you'll be able to go deeper into the tissue with this. And now you can pinch and separate that tissue. The last thing we're gonna do here is take our hands and push back down the spine, but not on the spine to help bring tissue back to that area. For this exercise, we're going to interlock our fingers and place them behind our head. Allow those fingers to melt into the tissue. You can bring your chin down, but you want the top of the head here going up towards the ceiling. So we're stretching up. So this is the back of the occipital muscle, which extends all the way to the front, just in front of the eyebrows. And we want to loosen this area up because you can get a lot of tightness in through here. Then we're going to keep those fingers interlocked. We're gonna place them in the middle of the head. And to know where to place them, you're gonna go from the bottom of the ear up through the top of the ear on both sides and you know where to place your hands then. And then we're going to go let the hands melt into the tissue, move forward and back. You can see as I do that, how my forehead can wrinkle accordion as that muscle is moving. Now we're gonna go side to side. There's a lot of tightness on the side of 
the head, just right here at the temporalis muscle. A lot of connective tissue there that can really be tight. Then we're gonna take our hands, place them on our forehead and move up. Make sure your shoulders are down, chins in, move up and down with these hands. And then relax. Now we're going to relax this area. We're gonna take our hands and massage up. And then take one hand, turn the head away so that your hand is scraping towards the side. And we'll do the other side. Fingertips are pressing in deep. Chin is tucked in as we do that. Then we're going to take our hands just in front of and surrounding the ear and we're going to massage upward. Do this for 10 times. And then we're going to get the side of the head. Let's do a little bit of release of the tissue around the eyes. So we're going to lift up at the edge, the arch, and the front of the eyebrow. Take the opposite index finger and we're going to rotate 10 times up and out under each digit. Now, if you want to add another circle or two here, you can, but we're going deep against the bone. We're not just taking the skin and we're going pressing in deep. Then we're going to take both index fingers and we're going to bring them together and then just scrape. Then we're going to do underneath the eye, we're going to set one index finger as we use the other index finger to lightly just pull down from there. This is going to help scrape any fascial adhesions in that area. Then we're going to bring the fingers together and separate. Sometimes you can have tightness right here on this bone and then just take your fingers to wash. And we'll do the same on the opposite side. Now, a lot of times you'll have more tightness right here next to the nose. So if you wanna add one, I'm going to another set of 10 right there. Bring the fingers together right on the bone, not in the soft tissue, lightly pull apart. You may add a drop of oil to this area to provide glide, but not too much slip. And then we'll come here, especially down here, you can have maybe a drop of oil. And then stretch, not stretch, but scrape. Now we're going to take our index finger, we're going to bring it down the forehead and then open between the eyebrows. We're going to place our thumb next to our nose and we're using these fingers to keep this tissue stationary. So now we're going to squint with our eyes and hold that tight. Really try squinting between or moving your eyebrows together we're really working on stabilizing these muscles as we contract them. And you can hold, holding this for 30 seconds as we're squinting, squinting. Make sure your shoulders are down. And then we're going to close our eyes and release and feel that 
working of that muscle. Now we're going to work the side of the eyes. So you're going to take your index finger and your middle finger and lightly pull back and open. And with this, we're going to blink 10 times and then we're going to hold 10 seconds. So here we go. You need to adjust your hands again you can and now hold that squint and close your eyes and then release now let's work the lower eye we're going to take our four fingers and place them on the orbital bone here, right on top of the muscle. And then we're going to move that lower lid up to squint with it without bringing the upper lid down. We'll do that 10 times and then hold for 10, time, 10 seconds. and then hold. And close your eyes, release. You can tap underneath that eye to relieve any tension there on above the eye, back of the head, Now we're going to take our hands, place them at the edge of the eye, and then we're going to wrap our teeth with our lips, and we're going to look up like this, open our eyes wide, look up, and then we're going to smile. Only our teeth will be wrapped around our lips. So here we go. We'll do that for 10 times, and then we'll hold for 10 seconds. Hold. And relax. Our last exercise, we're going to take our left hand and place it along the jawline and moving at a 45 degree angle, not forming any lines here. We're gonna take the palm of our right hand lift up the right eye and then the left eye. And then we're going to smile and then open our eyes and look up to the upper left-hand corner. We're holding for 10. And release. Now we're going to take the right hand, place it along the jawline, 45 degrees towards the ear, no lines here. Take this palm, lift up the left eye, use the fingers to lift up the right eye, smile, and look up to the upper right hand side. and release. Now we can do it again. Left palm on the jawline, 45 degree angle. Right palm lifting the right eye, fingers lifting the left. Smile and look to the left. And release, and then the right side. Right hand goes along the jawline up towards the ear, 45 degree angle, no lines here. Use the left palm to lift the left eye, fingers to use the right, smile, 
and look up to the right. And release. We'll finish with some tapping. Anywhere that you feel tightness, especially around the eye area, you can bring it down along the masseter, along the jawline, down the neck, and then even in the back of the neck, if you feel any tightness there. And we'll end with the reverse of our manual lymphatic drainage. Take the pads of your hands down the back of the neck five times. L fingers, thumb under the jaw, index finger washing across the cheek, light pressure. V fingers in front of and behind the ear. Pads of hands down the side of the neck. Pads of hands at the terminus. Thank you for watching this face yoga fascia release exercise for the area around the eye. Remember to like this video and to share it with your friends and family. And check out my other videos for other parts of the face. I suggest you switch it up each day and have a different focal point.